Hey guys, Maddie from Bill right here. Today we're gonna to be installing our seatback Molly panel kit in our 2021 Ford F-150. So in your seatback Molly panel kit, you're gonna get a tech plate, an upper bracket, a lower bracket, and a hardware kit. In your hardware kit, you're gonna get two headrest mounting blocks, two pieces of foam, nine black washers, seven 1224 button head screws, two quarter 20 button head screws, two quarter 20 bolts, two quarter 20 locking nuts, and two quarter 20 panel clips. The tools that we'll be using for this install are a 3 8 inch socket on a ratchet. We'll be using a 5 30 seconds Allen key, a 9 64 Allen key, and a 7 16 wrench. So the first step of the install is to put the foam on our headrest mounting blocks. To do that, we're gonna peel the backing off of the foam and lay it inside of the headrest mounting blocks. And now we're just gonna trim away the excess. And now we're gonna repeat that step for the second one. And with the foam in our headrest blocks, we're ready to install the upper bracket. So now we're in the F-150. On the driver's side, we'll be working on the driver's seat. And we're gonna install the upper bracket using our two headrest mounts, along with four of the 1224 button head screws and four of the black washers. So to start, I'm going to hold up my upper bracket to the headrest posts and get my four button head screws started in the headrest blocks. Now that the upper bracket's loosely fitted up, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's kind of centered on the seat. And I'm gonna be using the gap in this upper slot area to make sure that I'm close to centered and I'm gonna tighten the button head screws up. I'm gonna hold up the upper bracket a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these down. So now we're gonna mount up the lower bracket. And to do that, we've moved our seat up a little bit. There are two elastic loops that are under the seat that we need to pull off. And then we're gonna unzip the two little zippers that are holding the fabric on the back. And we're gonna be able to get to the structure of the seat that we're gonna mount up to. Well, like I said, the elastic band. We're gonna have to remove this wiring harness from its position to do that. Wiggle it and pull down. And it just pulls right out. And then unloop the elastic and that'll hang. And the same goes for this side. Just pull straight down. Little wiggle side to side. Come right out. Let the elastic hang. Undo the zipper. So now I'm just gonna secure the upholstery that's hanging here so I can work a little bit easier at the structure of the seat. So to mount up our lower bracket, we're gonna use our two panel clips and our two quarter 20 bolts. To do so, we're gonna slide panel clips such that the holes align with these two holes and then we're gonna place our lower bracket on.
Note that the flat side of the panel clips is the side that's facing out. Next I'll be mounting up the lower bracket. So now that the lower bracket is loosely installed, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. If you're going to be using an impact for this, just be careful not to over tighten and break the panel clips. So with the lower bracket installed, we're going to drop the upholstery back down, test fit the tech plate. If that's all good, we're going to reinstall the upholstery, mount the tech plate up, and that'll be the entirety of the installation. So to test fit it, I'm just going to hold up the panel in the same way that we would be installing it. So the top row of large slots. So it looks like we're going to have to move the upper bracket down a hair to make it so that everything will fit together nicely. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the four screws that are holding the upper bracket and I'm going to drop it down, retest fit the panel and we'll go from there. So now that we have everything lining up how we want it to, we're going to retighten up the headrest. So now that we have everything lined up, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the upholstery. I'm going to start with the zippers and work my way down the seat to the elastic and then complete the reinstall of the upholstery by popping those wire clips back in. So now we're going to go ahead and mount up the tech plate. To mount our tech plate up to the upper bracket, we're going to be using three 1224 screws. I like to start in the middle. Just get the first one started. We can let that hang there for a moment. While we get our other two. So now that we have the top loosely installed, we're going to go ahead and install the bottom using a quarter 20 button head screw along with the quarter 20 nuts that are included in the kit. Now that we have the bottom tightened up, we'll go ahead and do the same with the top, and that will be the install of our seatback molly panel kit. And with that, your seatback Molly panel kit is installed in your 2021 F-150. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via email, social media, or phone. We'll see you later.